All right. So it says we're live. We're live? Oh. All right. Hello, people. We had to go old school tonight because uh, had problems with OBS. Hello, Shauna. Hello, Brian. Hello, hello. It is late. It's a, late on the second day of the Flutter right. conference in uh, where the hell are we? Colorado. Denver. <laughs> Denver, Colorado. Insane in the membrane. Okay. All right. So now you can hear us now? Yes. They should be everyone should be able to hear everything. Right? You hear everybody? Okay, we're good to go. Go ahead, Mark. Mr. Sergeant. All right, you want me to jump right into this? Okay. Yes. Let's, you have the exclusive. All right, let's 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 get right to it. Why am I not in Denver right now? Why did I leave this morning and jump on a plane and now I'm in Seattle? uh let's let's do the we'll do the rewind real quick because let's just let's just cut right to it the mystery guest is drum roll please not any a-lister or b-lister or c-lister you ever heard of or ever would have thought about in your life it is instead popular social media troll uh logan paul brother of jake paul and blight of the internet in my opinion opinion so Earlier this year, and it was 2018, it was not that long ago. This year, this is where it starts. And this is where I first started to hate him. And we'll, we'll, it'll tie in in a second. Uh, he goes and travels, being that he was a notorious internet troll. He would go out and do these pranks on people. And apparently, there was no limit or boundary that couldn't be breached. I mean, he tried, you know, he went over Europe and. and Africa and South America. It went everywhere. And then he goes to Japan and he goes to a special park. And I'm not going to name it. It's a Japanese name. Uh, but it's known as the Suicide Forest, which is kind of creepy. But people that uh, fall victim to suicidal thoughts uh, tend to visit this forest. They go out with tents and they kind of delve into it. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but quite a few people take their own lives there. And he breached a boundary then, and he made a video and uh, where he was basically trolling <laughs> recently deceased people. And for me, that was a it was a big deal back then, uh, back in jail. I remember this because that was the first time I'd ever really heard of the guy. Uh, because when he did this and then edited this video and decided it was perfectly fine to put up on YouTube, uh, the social media world just came down on him like a ton of bricks including his brother i mean all the majors like what 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 have we come to now i mean is is this even legal and youtube was kind of in a tough spot because they you know the old lord of the rings saying uh one does not simply shut down a multi-million subscriber channel they just don't so they kind of play in fact I'm, I'm looking at the article right now from cnn business uh from earlier this year where they like shut off his uh youtube premiere and his youtube red and put his movie on hold and stuff but they weren't going to kill the main channel it's just too much too much of a money maker so i hated the guy i mean there was all this controversy and i it really struck a chord with me back then uh because uh, uh i i've had several friends uh to to good friends and an ex-girlfriend that uh, succumbed to suicide and you know having this guy come out i mean we're, we're not talking about you know crime of passion here we're talking about a very very premeditated act which was you know he traveled from california to japan specifically to go to this forest and specifically to, tr to troll it and then even after the editing where they had plenty of chances it's not like they were just live streaming plenty of chances to, to edit everything out they left everything in and I'm sorry, I, ha I, I hated the guy then. And uh, I really didn't think, I'm a big believer in justice. And I'm a big believer in, in the scales being balanced. And I, I wanted justice to, to be done to this guy. And this is where it gets kind of messy because I am also, I, I've always considered myself not a hypocrite. You know, where, you know, I'll, I'll say one thing and then, you know, do another. So I... When all of a sudden, so, okay, flash forward to 
now where we we've been waiting for weeks to find out who this mystery guest was because this mystery guest uh contacted uh Robbie at the at the conference and said that they wanted to keep it a secret for whatever reason and you know everybody starts speculating and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and and Robbie wasn't wasn't reeling anybody in i mean it, he was laying his go with this, which was weird because, you know, we were going, you know, from C to B to, to A listers and he was giving us hints that seemed to fall into that. And so our, our, our lists were getting smaller and smaller. And so there was this weird moment where we were waiting for, I think you, you were there, Mark, at the, at the mixer uh, down in the, that room. Yes. We're waiting for this guy to show up. And you got to remember beforehand, this person just kept, kept changing the rules beforehand. is like, okay, we want you to keep it a secret because we're going to do a press release in the week, the week we show up. And they didn't do a press release. They finally just said, well, we're just not going to do one, but we're absolutely coming to your mixer. And then, okay, we're going to be a half hour late to your mixer. We're going to be an hour late to your mixer. We're going to be really late to your mixer. And finally, we're just not going to show up, <laughs> which was ridiculous and very celebrity like. Uh, because uh, I, I knew when he sent his minions down there, this person came with their own entourage, their little boy band drones, uh, you know, all wearing the same clothes and the same shoes and stuff. And I knew when they sent him in there, I, they stuck out like a sore thumb. They were all about the same age, same height, same build, all younger than everybody else and, and you know, perfect hair. And I don't think there was a pimple on any of them. And they uh, they were down there to see if the room was cool enough for Logan to show up. And again, we're not talking any level of celebrity here. We're talking just social media. I don't even know stars a word. And yet he's got minions trying to figure out, you know, if the room is cool enough. And it's like, it's not. So then, um, and remember this one, we still don't know officially who it is. And, you know, um, they're throwing around the names, you know, of course, the old names like Robert Downey Jr., Jack Black. And, and and things like that. And we still don't know. And then finally, Robbie says, okay, well, he's not coming. The person just said, okay, we're just not coming. Apparently, we're not cool enough to to, to hang out with, you know, to drink with. So uh, Robbie leaked it to somebody. I don't remember who it was. And not that it matters. And finally, it came back to me. And David Weiss came to me. And he goes, it's, um, it's Logan Paul. And I'm, I'm just staring kind of blankly. Because he goes, I'm looking for a reaction here. And I'm not getting anything. And I go... I don't really know what to say because it, I had such mixed feelings. Uh, one, he absolutely was not in any way in, in on any list. We, of course, you know, Rob, that was one of Robbie's things. It's like, no, no, you ever even said this? Of course we wouldn't. This guy is he's he's literally a, a, a YouTube a social media troll. He might as well have been um, PewDiePie, or he shall not be named. Um, and and the second thing was is that I I already hated this guy. <laughs> I mean, I, re I, I really, don't know who he is. Yeah, well, most people didn't. And that was another thing, by the way. I, and I, I, I'm going to give Robbie some grief eventually on this because there was this line, and I don't know if he was drinking or whatever, where he said, okay, one more hint. He goes, this guy, when he walks through a room, at least half of you will recognize him, but all of you will know the name. And, you know, we're, we're thinking, we're completely, what we didn't know is he's completely on a different frequency than we are. Because he's thinking in social media standpoints, and we're thinking just general media standpoints. And quick for the record, yeah. when I got the word of who it was this morning, yeah, my first reaction was because I have no idea. I had never heard of this guy, honestly. Right. I know I I had never heard of it. My, my son had to explain to me who it was. So I was a half that wouldn't know. Right. But yo, yeah, and and there was there was plenty of people, and so. And and I was just and, and I remember going to dinner uh, with quite a few people uh, afterwards. I, I was sitting down with uh, you know Matt and Patricia and David and uh, D Marble and, and other guys, and I'm just going off in these rants because I'm I, because I'm I'm in the denial stage. And I was in the denial stage for hours. I was going, it can't be him, because it doesn't fit any of the criteria. And of course, we would never invite somebody like that because he's an internet troll. I mean, he's just a bigger version of Red's rhetoric. That's that's all he is. I mean, this, it's literally he and his brother. That's all they do. They do a combination of the old television shows, uh, Jackass with Johnny Knoxville and Punked with Ashton Kutcher. It, you know, those shows have been gone for years, but these guys kind of took those reins and did it on YouTube. 
And I'm going, we, we'd never invite someone like this. This was not somebody you would invite to the, the, the conference. It, it helps us in no way, shape, or form. It puts us at risk. And I think it would, it could um, not, you know, it could damage morale if, if they, if they do it a certain way, if they take it in a certain angle. And yet I still didn't believe it. I still did not believe it was them. I, you know, I wouldn't know for sure until the next morning. I wasn't going to go and you know, try because I'd already asked too many questions and I was tired. And so I go to bed and I couldn't sleep. Didn't sleep a, a wink last night. I was just staring at the ceiling thinking, okay, what if it is him? What, it, what, it, what do I do here? Because I hate this person. I really, really hate. And you're going, okay, well, you know, are we talking Eskimo hate? No, I'm not talking that sort of hate. It's, it's different. Meaning... I, there are some things you can't backpedal from, in my opinion. And that is, if you go to a place to, uh, to really take jabs at the, the dark despair that people get sucked into, I mean, not just my friends that, that I ran to over the years, but myself, you know, everybody has, you know, those, those dark feelings from time to time. And it, that the suicidal concept has always been with me for, for forever. I, I'm kind of reckless and self-destructive sometimes. So there's some things you can't pull back from. You can't undo that. And for me, it's like, look, he, he should be punished for life for, for doing that sort of thing. He's, he's exposing people. It's like, he's taking this and he's exposing his, his younger viewers to a, a concept and he's making light of it in which you should never, ever, ever do. Uh, he, he crossed the line. And for that, I never, I, I don't want to spend any time with this guy at all. I don't, I mean, honestly, if I had my way, I'd wipe him off the face of the earth, but I don't want to spend any time with it. I, and I knew that he's here to kind of shoot some stuff with the boy band. You know, they had cameras and doing a few things here and there. I didn't want to be any part of his cameras. I didn't want to be any part of his interviews. I, I didn't want to shake his hand. I didn't even want to see him. Well, that's a problem because he's our top VIP. So he's front row of this whole thing. And eventually I'm going to have to go up there and pretend to be, you know, to, to be cordial to this, to this whole concept that I, that I just loathe. And I, I couldn't do it. I was like, look, I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not, I never can, I never will be. And uh, I, sometimes, yeah, I make a statement to my own detriment, but that's just one of the things I do. And so what I said to myself was that last night, I said, okay, if I, if I get down there, and it actually, remember, I still don't even know for sure. And I say, if I find out it's actually him, I'm gone. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna think twice about it. I'm not gonna say anything to anybody. I'm just going to go. And that's my, you know, I'm just gonna get out of here. And I didn't even talk about Providence. I didn't even make it out really past the restaurant level. And I ran into Cami. And I said, uh, so as this person, you know, I didn't even know, think she, she, she'd run into him and i said this person showed up she goes yeah she goes i just gave him their their um her him and the guys the the badges it's uh some Lo logan logan something logan paul she goes she goes who is this guy anyway <laughs> it's not the first time i've heard this and i've gone okay that's it so that was the end i just i literally without even taking two steps i you know cammy went off one way and i went to the room and packed and got on a plane and got out didn't even didn't didn't have a second thought uh because i i it was it for me again it may not affect him in any way and yeah it may damage me in some ways which is fine i mean the questions are already coming at me which is oh you know didn't you, you think of the listeners of course i thought of the listeners and didn't you think of patricia and and the the award show i was like of course you know i i set out everything i could and you know I, there was a bunch of stuff i left and uh but i i want people to know that i don't think that you want me to kind of bottom line it for you i don't think he should be here i really it's it's one thing to 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 hype up a vip and then have it um be not anywhere close to being the level of vip that you that you wanted that's one thing like like going from freaking will smith to jack black even though jack black's doing a lot of good work nowadays you know, going, going down to that, to that Laura Jared Leto or whoever it is, that's one thing because those guys are neutral, right? But, or even a, a dedicated where we know they're coming from troll, uh, like, um, um, uh, uh, Joe Rogan, who's, who's done stuff against us. 
but this guy is a complete unknown other than we know he's a professionally paid troll on on just about all fronts and he's never really made a dedicated flat earth video and he didn't promote this in any way shape or form he didn't he didn't say oh i'm going to this here's my trip going to this uh they just like they just got on a freaking plane on uh on late afternoon on wednesday and landed in um in denver and they just came and th- I, I don't think he should be here. I don't think we, we should be giving this guy type of guy a, a platform in any way. You're, you're asking him to, um, you're, you're putting too much at risk here. And I'll take it one step further, and that is tomorrow morning, if he's still here, assuming, uh, they're giving him a, a microphone. They're, they're literally, that is the opening of tomorrow morning. Even before, I, when I was scheduled, even before I was scheduled, he was coming on stage and giving him a microphone. I'm going, why, why, why would you do that? You've seen his work. He, he, he's done some ridiculously huge trolls over the years. And, and he's already said, in fact, uh, uh, Flat Earth Fokker, uh, the thing in the hallway, which um, um, uh, Brian pointed out, where, he's, where he just openly admitted, it's okay, I'm not a Flat Earther. Then why are you here? Exactly. Oh, he said that? I never yeah. even heard that. Yeah. We just saw him at the restaurant we went to eat, so, and, and Fokker just, was there too, and saw so him. I didn't talk to him or anything. I don't know right who he before, is. Zulu, right before that restaurant, because Fokker was live feeding, and right before he got to the restaurant, he was walking through a hallway and ran into him. Yeah. And the guy said he, he was there to do a dock, but he's not a flat earther. And he was kind of backpedaling back and forth. I'm not saying he's doing anything. I'm not saying he's setting anything up. I don't know. I, I'm, but man, I, I, I don't. I'm, I'm saying with his sort of track record, and it is not. I could see it. <laughs> it's, no, it is. I, I mean, you, see it. Yeah, he's, he has the potential. I mean, really, are you going to give somebody like that that sort of opportunity? You know, if, I'm, I'm not saying that he would, that he would pull something fast, but look, he's got his crew here with him to protect him. You know, it's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to let the, let people have, you know, let, what is he going to say on stage anyway? What, what exactly are you hoping when you hand up the microphone that he's going, because he, he's already said he's not a flat earther, that whole flat earth journey story has gone. So what, it, what are you, what are you hoping for here? Uh, there's just no, uh oh, you guys still hear me? Yeah, we're here. We're here. Hang on. Yeah, we got you. We hear you. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, sorry, the the power flickered for a second. I don't know. There's no wind or anything. Uh, sorry, it's just too many too many things. Just just red flags for me. Uh, I'll throw one more thing out at you, and that is if you say, "Well, would you do it again?" Of course, I would do it again. As a matter of fact, if I here's why here's why you don't keep something like that a secret. Just about everybody in the speak in the there was part of the speakers community. Ha- question the choice here it's like why why are we why are we even dealing with this guy because nobody knew him so it, it, this is why you kind of tell people don't you don't keep it a secret i mean yeah you could keep it a secret to the public you're not gonna make videos on it i mean we've kept you know the the a-lister that i've talked to recently we've kept nobody's made a video on that uh but with him nobody was gonna do it anyway because most people didn't even know who he was so and and if you told people ahead of time, maybe you could do something with the feedback. I would have called up Robbie immediately, and said, "Look, uh, yeah, this guy is toxic. He has been for some time. Even his brother isn't doing anything with him right now. So and yeah, of course. And and in Robbie's defense, he's like, all he saw was the 16 million subscribers. He's going, well, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like Shane, right? You know, Shane has 15, but yeah, but Shane made a pro flat earth video. That's the big difference. And it got a massive amount of hits. This guy hasn't really done anything and he's been shying away from the entire concept. He's not even telling anybody he's here. Uh, You know, Robbie posted that he, that he was here in his Facebook chat. uh, But Jake Paul's not posting anything on Facebook ever. And he's not making any videos on it. So what exactly is he doing here? You know, and if and if you're going to be shooting the talk, aren't you supposed to be interviewing a whole bunch of people on a regular? What do you? What is? What's your? What's your take? What's your angle? Uh, sorry, just too many questions, and I already have a bias against him. So I I just there's something to be. I know I've heard the old saying. I don't want to ramble on too much here. The the old Spielberg line is production value. And again, I can understand the Mad Mike concept. 
which was Mad Mike was going to be in the parking lot anyway, protesting us. So why not ask him to come in? Because he wants to come in anyway. He knows there's more cameras inside. So you bring in the rocket, you put it in the main room, and everything's great. So, uh, but is it, it, there seems to be a limit to that, which is you can't, don't grab everything just because you think it'll make it more popular. Yes, he has 16 million sub subs, but uh, isn't there a price there? You know, I mean, he, he's not our demographic. He's not our channel. He's 23 uh, and he leads a little mini boy band that follows him around. And th there's nothing, it's, it's a different demographic than what we usually have. I just, I just, I'm sorry. I just don't see any positive aspect and potentially some bad things could happen. Of course, we'll see if and when he finishes the doc, but that's my thing. Sorry. I just, I, I have disdain for the guy. I don't trust him at all. And that's not a conspiracy side. It's looking at his track record. I've never seen him make a serious piece ever. And now all of a sudden he's going to make, you're telling me he's going to make a serious doc on Flat Earth. Or is, or is he just going to play circus music and do reaction videos where he's like, you know, mugging for the camera the entire time? I just don't know. That goes well, back did to have something that. Sorry, what was that Shauna? It does go back to what you guys were talking about when we were first trying to figure out who this A-lister might be, and that we removed all comedians out of hand, right? Because of the fact that you know they have to look at it from a particular angle, right? And they're, they're most likely going to be using that angle. Um, in order to to play to their to their audience, why on earth would you even consider somebody that does this poorly? Right. To begin with. Right. I mean, I don't think I've ever heard even him string together a couple of paragraphs other than his apology letter for the suicide forest thing, which of course was prompted by whoever was handling them at the time, because it was written looked like it was written by an attorney slash PR agent. Uh. So if, if he's never sat down, I mean, honestly, if you watch his videos, he can't hold still for more than like 10 minutes. I was amazed that he was actually in the room with you guys for eight hours. I mean, I couldn't, I don't know how often he came and went. It looked like he was running around quite a bit, uh, but I don't know where his camera guys were. And it just doesn't, he's not the type. Yeah. Like, like you're saying, Shauna, you'd never see, there's a reason why Jimmy Fallon and uh, Jimmy Kimmel and Conan, uh, Conan O'Brien could never walk through a flat earth room he couldn't there'd be like a 50 jokes going in his head at all times he's like okay here's what i'm gonna say you know he's he's waiting just to set up stuff and so this guy what's what's his angle and i i, I yeah you could treat him if you want to treat him like a journalist that's one thing uh but you're treating him like royalty just because he's bringing uh, an entourage of people that are as beck and call because he's self-important and and if you if you look at the reactions of the people that actually did know who he was yeah it was majority of people that i saw it was parents that were super excited about trying to get something for their kids right because this is somebody that, that their kids yeah, know. Like i actually had a, a couple the the woman was really excited just like oh my daughter loves him blah 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 blah. and the husband was just like i don't like the guy yeah so you have that bias right there in one of of many people or many couples i'm sure that were there that yeah. were realizing and, and, you know. uh, think think of it this way too uh not to drag it out too much but he's not really a conspiracy like shane goes into a whole bunch of different conspiracies it's that's one of his things this guy doesn't do that. He is fluff. You know, I'm going to prank somebody. I'm going to do an air horn around the corner. I'm going to set up a bunch of mouse traps that are going to walk over in the dark and blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. You know, just just juvenile, junior high stuff that, that you're supposed to grow out of, but some people don't. And there's nothing, there's no common ground here. What When he's talking, I can imagine, like, if you're talking to him, like, in that conference, where what what's the common denominator are you talk about 9 11 i don't think so jfk pearl harbor sandy hook boston bombing probably not 
So where where is where's the common ground? Flat Earth. He's already said he doesn't believe in it. So is he just there to shoot it? And if he's just there to shoot it, shouldn't you kind of brief people on like your angle? Shouldn't you be interviewing people and and like have a list of questions? I just I I think he's gonna create like a ten minute piece. That's gonna you have followed through with any of the steps that were supposed to be taken yeah. from a week out. That that is a red flag right off the bat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we he says unprofessional. That, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. And then and then playing the celebrity card when he gets here, it's like it's look, it's one thing to be a celebrity that's late to a building, but if you're in the building. <laughs> It's, if you're actually in your room and the promoters already said you're, that he he talked to him, he's he's in the room and the mixer is right downstairs, and you're supposed to be talking to this pe these people. Why really? You're gonna you're gonna put on airs like that and just not come down? Come on, that's that's grade A number one. Put it on a certificate you can frame tool. Is what that is. But I have a completely different bias on top of that. I think he's a soulless monster and he's a brainless tool. So there you go. I do, if you haven't picked, picked it up by now, and I know you guys are getting sleepy and stuff, I loathe. I'm this not guy. sleepy yet. He's, I'm not sleepy yet. No, no, you're it's okay. right. But so, I, so you're not buying him any Christmas presents. No, I'm not buying him a Christmas presents. And I'm not going to stand on a stage. No, I'm sorry. It would drive me up a freaking wall. If I had to stand on a stage and look in that row and he and the freaking Menudo bunch are sitting there playing on their phones or doing, you know, making little comments, I, I, I would be like vibrating to the point where I'd want to run down there, flip the table over on him and start beating him with his own chair. It just, and, and that shouldn't be there. There'd be these awkward moments that I, I, again, you guys know me. I don't like pretending to be something else which you know so like having to shake his hand oh my god it would it would give me i would get cringe it was like oh no dude you take it put your hand back I would, I would make these horrible comments and i would be doing these in front of robbie and and people say well you know you should stay there and, and tough it out and it's like would you rather have me there as some awkward angry version of mark or would you kind of be better you know what's what's the saying um uh, if you can't say something nice, get yeah. on a plane and fly back to Seattle. Yeah, so, yeah. Just shut the hell up. Yeah. Shut the hell up. I mean, I, I, I would did be too much. I'm sorry. There's too many. If <laughs> the, the first time I would like be face to face with him and uh, the uh, and in sync, you know, behind him, I'll, oh, just be like, where is the shotgun at this point? If I could get like three or four, I swear. Yeah, I don't, I don't know him. It seemed like the twenty-year-old kids at the Starbucks knew who he was. Everybody else was like, "I don't know, I don't know." Yeah. And yeah. then when Fokker showed that video where he's like uh, backpedaling about being a flat earther and stuff, why are you here? Yeah. Is it? Well, yeah. You know, I don't. I, don't, I, don't I mean, the journalist. What I think happened was there's some journalists that that get here. I think he's trying to play the whole self-important celebrity card to kind of be a pseudo journalist. But I don't think he really knows what he's doing because he doesn't do journalistic pieces. So he's just using his clout and asking Robbie for more rooms and you know adding people. I don't know how many people he freaking brought with him. What eight? No, I don't know. I have is, no idea. Which is I, pretty. I don't know. I will add this. What? I looked when I when I looked him up this morning when they said who it was. I went uh, Wikipedia, which I don't like, you know, but still. He made a comment years ago. His goal is to be the number one celebrity. Yeah. That's his life goal. Yeah. That's that's a bit of a single-minded goal and a bit unrealistic. It, it is, but I'm just trying to, and I, again, yeah. I'm going back to why is he at the conference? Well, right. No, it's, you know what? It's not a problem. It's not a problem with him being, I have no problem with anybody going to a conference. What I'm confused about is why is he a VIP at the Flat Earth Conference right. when he's not a Flat Earth? I mean, he's less of a flat earther than me, right? Which says a lot, right. um, especially after that thing in the hallway. What is he setting up? He, I see him setting something up. I'm not saying he's going, but man, I, I don't. I don't. That video just a little while ago. I think he's, he's in the little, hall with Daisy. He's doing something. I think he's, he's a little. Up. I think he's a little out of his depth at this point because it's too serious a topic. 
So, yeah, he I mean, you could try to set it up as like a, a fluffy high school prank hit piece, but it's it's tough to do because there's a lot of complex thought processes when it comes to flat earth and i don't think he's got the mental capability to kind of maneuver around it so he's he's and and again he, he gets in with the 16 million subs the promoter's like yeah well absolutely we'll put you in the front row uh, how many people are you bringing and then when he gets here he's like he doesn't really know what to do so he's just kind of milling around and again i haven't heard i haven't run into anybody that, that has actually been sat down and interviewed by him because i don't and Go what ahead. do we all do when we first hear about the the concept we ask a million and five questions yeah this person has not asked a single question or interacted with absolutely a person Would... that's at the conference yeah you're you're at the of other yeah, you're at the place to ask the questions. I mean, that mixer, yeah. you had the mixer, you had just about every speaker in there. And you're not going, you're not going to ask questions in there. And, and you're not going to, you're not going to show up. And your boy band, I, I watched them the entire time. They just talk to themselves. They're not into it. They're definitely not into it. They don't want to talk to anybody. And, but he's got, he's got a um, assistant that's more with him. I think he's like the, the, wingman on the on their video show but i don't know if he's asking questions but again i don't sorry it's just i i got i got nothing i'm sorry i have no positives in in this case about him and if there's no positives the question is what what are we getting out of this and the, what is the community getting out of it and i don't think anything it, it, honestly we would have been better off and i i wasn't kidding when i said this i probably would still be there if the celebrity turned out to be a complete fake meaning if he didn't show up if if he if he blew off everything and then said ah, i'm not even flying in <laughs> i would still be i'd still be like oh okay well we, we dodged a bullet there cuz you know, we didn't we didn't have to deal with him and it looked like it was almost going to happen at some point i mean they literally waited till wednesday afternoon to catch the flight so interesting why not get there early if you're the super vip why not Hey, um, I don't know. Is he gonna? You know, is he gonna take off what, tomorrow night? What? One of the tough questions, Mark, out in the chat. They just wanted to know why? Why leave? Uh, and to make because I'm principal. Yeah, principal. No, but more more than anything, it's principal. I I hated him before he showed up to this thing, and he's one of those people that um. There's an old saying, you know, avoid negative people. He's one of those people that I think is is pure chaos and negativity. And I see nothing redeeming about him in the slightest. And I, that may sound harsh, but you, you go through a couple months of his videos. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. No, I do. I do. I don't. I mean, um, I'm not saying I'm not saying he's a black hat that's twirling a handlebar mustache, but he he, he in if it. <laughs> If there were no laws, I would find a place to, to handle this guy because he's just he's just chaos. I don't like I one I hate people that that play uh, mean, really intricate pl practical jokes. I I hated the show Punked and I really didn't like the show Jackass, even though when they did it to each other it was pretty funny. But that's because they were doing it to each other. Uh, he sorry I just I just avoid those people and I couldn't avoid this guy. There was nothing I could do because we put him in a we it completely embedded him into our uh, into our upper echelon, you know, VIP stuff. And even though we didn't go to the VIP stuff, I wonder is he, I wonder is he even going to go to the VIP dinner, for example, tomorrow night? So no, I don't no, know. I haven't person. met him, seen him. I saw him at dinner. I don't know anything else about him. Mm. So what I'm getting, Mark just to clarify for whoever's going to watch this and all that right. the biggest problem you had he's there although that's a good question of why he's there yeah it's the fact that robbie put him in and you act with somebody that you absolutely hate more than an eskimo or me well it's pretty close pretty comparable i mean yeah, yeah and then all of a sudden i you find out it's that person <laughs> It's like, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, it not only is it a celebrity you were really looking forward to hanging out with, no matter who it was, it's someone you want dead. <laughs> well, you know, I, and I'm going to go on that one for a bit because, you know, we all, 
who heard about the celebrity and we we're going to, I mean, come on, I picked Will Smith. I mean, come the I, clues I, I, are out Will, there. Will Smith yeah, was, was, was the top Mark. was we were doing Mark research. Wahlberg. What Mark Wahlberg was the top yeah. white character, Will Smith was the top black character. But yeah. my question is Sorry, there were no women. What, <laughs> no, there weren't because women are guy? yeah. Go ahead. What what movie was this guy in? Because he's there was one of the hints he was a singer and then went to movies. What movie was he in and what singing did he do that was released? That wasn't YouTube because I mean, I come know. on, if that's the record, Zulu, you're a singing artist because I've heard you say that vagabond shoes on air on YouTube. <laughs> well, yeah, he's a singer now, absolutely. But but no, no, there's criteria for this. Like, and and I went through this in great detail, but I'll, I'll give you the, the the brief notes, which is any actor that all of a sudden has the money to start their own garage band is not a singer. And there are a lot of those guys, you know, uh, Bruce Willis and Kevin Costner and Billy Bob Thornton and so on and so on. They, they've all got these freaking bands, but no one is buying their albums. Right. So when we hear and Robbie didn't never denied it in front of us that this person is an actor and a singer, you've you, you've got to have some criteria there. Like they at least have one or two albums and they've at least been in three major motion pictures. Right. That's that's a pretty good criteria. And I take TV shows. the what I said, I take TV shows as an well, actor. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's TV shows too. Uh, but but this per and then all of a sudden, again, that was the other part, which was you know once this once he was announced, it's like this person literally falls into only one of the entire cat or two. The, he was white and he was a guy. <laughs> Everything else is BS. Nothing, nothing fit. Nothing at all. This guy creates no real content. He doesn't generate anything for the arts and film or television or the stage or art pieces. Uh, he doesn't do any of that stuff. So write, write, write music. Nope. As far as I know, uh, no, none of this stuff. So I, I'm sorry. We were. Be, I'm sorry. We are also being led down that path to make it. No, even wait, wait a second. One, one second here, Mark. I do want to clarify that he does have. Three movies on his major yeah, motion picture. The space you between two us, the movies. money mill, and E live from the red carpet. <laughs> but are those are all true. YouTube movies? Those are all YouTube movies, are they not? A lot of, uh, uh, yeah, well, that was mini series. Well, that was just it. He was character. using YouTube money to to finance the YouTube movies, and it just wasn't working. So he was going back to more of his pranks, which is super low budget. In fact, most of the money that was spent in, in that was traveling, like to Japan or Europe. And like this, watching him and his brother like jump into the canals when they weren't supposed to was like off limits. That was one of their big things. It says no swimming. It's like they immediately just start taking off their shirts and jumping in and, and hoping they can pay off the cops off camera. So no, there's there's nothing redeeming about anything he ever ever did. There was, uh, it, it again, it'd be, and even I, I'm sorry, I hate to say this, but even if he over the last six months had started making YouTube videos, I would still have a real hard time uh, with his his previous stuff because he's just uh, insensitive, awful, awful person. It's it's one of those things why you don't give trust funds to kids at a young young age because it just takes them in bizarre especially if you're young guys you take them in directions they just go completely reckless so need to clarify something else yeah. again i'm watching the chat too and they're bringing up some interesting questions so one of the questions did you have the power to fix this mark i mean i know the answer i'll let you answer it and there's no communication with you and robbie wtf is it him or you they would all rather have seen you uh, yeah, but 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 right Robbie wouldn't have made that choice. I mean, I hate to say it, but uh, uh, Logan has way more followers. He's got an entourage. He's got big net worth. Well, not big, but but decent decent net worth. And it it shouldn't come down to that. That conversation, it shouldn't come down to that. I kind of cut through all that. I you know I I work out where the flow charts go and the conversations and it's like okay it comes down to this and then what Robbie has to make the impossible choice it's like no I'll make it for you I'll just go and you can deal with him and that's fine you know I'll I'll try to soften the blow the best I can uh, but know that I'm going because you made a bad choice and I'm not picking on Robbie too much here but I, 
his idea of a celebrity is way different than my idea of a celebrity. And he was looking strictly at the at the YouTube numbers. And it's like, yeah, that's fine. The YouTube numbers are fine, but you've got to look at the content that it's where these numbers are coming from. So so yeah, so bottom line is really you didn't weren't given the time, I think, to make No. <laughs> no, I mean I found yeah, out clarified viewers. Yeah. I mean Yeah. I mean I'm literally sitting there and it's like, okay. I mean, I find out I, I mean I found out this morning, you know, I'm in Seattle now. I found out this morning in Denver as I'm walking down the hallway because I still was in denial. I was like, it can't be this guy because this guy's an idiot and he's horrible. And and there's and people don't know who he is. I mean, there's so many things. It's like there's I mean, seriously, if you took away his entourage and he just kind of walked through the aisles, no one would stop him except for maybe somebody's kid. Maybe oh, only if they were looking for it. Uh, so like uh, Laurel's daughter, I bet you she'd know because she was like she was like really curious, like uh, that she was hoping that I actually met Shane when I was out in L.A. She's like, oh, Shane's so wonderful. It's like, yeah, yeah, I know. Every young girl's gay best friend. I get it. He's so sensitive. Is he gay? Because he was out with a girl. Dude, he is gay. I have no idea. As a tangerine in jean shorts. Now, he's clarify really one more thing. That's not gay at all. <laughs> he's gay as a, <laughs> clutch, not bad. as a clutch purse at the Tonys. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, um, I'm not judging. All God's children. <laughs> yeah. So one question that I don't even know the answer to, I never asked this one. What? Was he invited? Did he buy tickets? <coughs> for this? I, uh, from what I understand, conference? he had to buy the VIP I mean, tickets. But I think he was comped at hotel. I don't know. I don't know. There was some arrangement, though. I don't. I don't know the details. You have to ask Robbie. I mean, I don't. So we, I can't yeah. imagine just on his rep alone that we would just give him free everything. So I mean, you think he? I'm just. I'm just. It was one of the questions in the chat, and it's a good would, point. Would they make him buy did, tickets? I don't know. No, did he buy tickets, or, or was he actually invited without? Do you see what I'm saying? Oh no, well, that's he just came, one of the questions. He came to us, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, it says in the chat oh, no. Logan wasn't invited. He bought tickets like everyone else. No. Well, yeah, but but he but the point was is he oh, approached he, us on the whole. Gotcha. On the whole range, you know, I'm bringing my entourage, and I'd like special access, and yada yada yada. Clearing the rooms and all the stuff that I was. I mean, I'm right. not there, but the great M and M, rose petals, and I want to be in was setting up. Of exactly how the information was disseminated. Well, yeah, there's there the, the non-disclosure. Well, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is we want to control the how it's how it's being leaked and. And then, oh, sorry, that not to rehash this, but that part bugs me a lot. It's like, okay, you know, you put in there that we want to control how the information is is getting out to social media, and therefore, it's you have to keep it a secret, and then you don't release anything to social media. So why 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 do you have to keep it a secret at all? And not again, not that we anyone would have done anything with it. I mean, initially, if it was an A lister, yes, you. you things would spread really fast but seriously we could call up depending on whose desk you rang at cbs nbc abc if they were a certain um uh age they'd be like who <laughs> you know they'd be like i don't know who is this you know who's this person but if they were in the social media sector yeah they go oh yeah what's he done now that sort of thing so basically this would be like in the flat earth reference, I think, to put it in perspective, mm -hmm. if we got Bill Nye to come to the flat earth conference, set up a nice room for him, make it known all, all the works and all that, right? Knowing he's not a flat earther, right. knowing he's not doing nothing for the flat earth community, right? And told you to get along nice. Do not challenge him, do not ask him questions. The little difference Basically, though, because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sort of like that. Yeah, because in fact, that was actually a good example because more people would have a hard time with that. There'd be people kind of like I, I, I had fantasized about this one day, like if, if um, like Neil Tyson, you know, shows up, you know, to like some Q&A for somebody. What what do you do? I mean, you know, he's he's sitting there in the podium and so, well, as soon as people hear his voice, it's like, dude, do you have any idea what what danger you're in right this second? <laughs> You know, you you may not be able to get out of here qu that quickly. 
So yeah, something like that. Okay. So it's so uh, again, it's one of those weird, just weird situations that you never ever think is going to happen. I don't hate a lot of things. Uh, there's very, which is again, it's a, it's a weird coincidence if you believe in coincidences, but there's very few people that I, I look and I say, man, oh, wish I could get you in a, in a, a wheat thresher, put, put them together. Cause you, but in his case, he's one of them, but yeah, like Bill Nye, not necessarily. I mean, yeah, if he was, if he showed up, he would have a hard time, well, but he wouldn't, but he I wouldn't mean, show up. There are people. So my final question for yeah. everybody that they're going to want to know. Yeah. So all these people that came here and a lot of them came to see you. Yeah. Cause you are the father. Yes. What do you say to them? I say, well, no, I'll, I say, I'll say, no, I will. I will. I'll say what I said. I was going to say, choose your words wisely. <laughs> Screw you guys. No. Exactly. No, no, no. I'm, uh, uh, I will say what I, what I said to the funky bunch, which is I I'm, I'm sorry. You know, it's, it wasn't something uh, there's always a trade off. You know, there's always going to be some, some sort of pain or sacrifice involved. Uh, but I would rather, I think I'd be a better example if I stuck to my principle than if I didn't, uh, that being said, th my, my only saving grace is that I met so many people in the two days that I was there. Uh, you know, I met a bunch of people on, on Tuesday, you know, afternoon and night, and I was in the lobby and I hardly ever stayed in my room uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then, you know, met all those people at the billboard and then even more people, at the uh, the VIP mixer thing, so by that point I'd hit a lot. Now, did I did I hit all of them? No. And were, are there going to be some sad people? Yes, no question. Uh, I, but I'm sad. I know. But you, dude, I spent uh, so much time. With you. I know. I know. I know. I killing got, me. I got more time with you than anybody. Yes, you did. And the back no. rub's really nice. You have just lovely did hands you, for a large man. Did you all You're share welcome. organs? No, we did not share any organs. Any organs. Uh, but, but at the same time, the, the conference has so many great, and not, not to cop out, but this conference has so many great people, uh, th this time around. I mean, there's so many, so many different things to, you know, different ways that my, my loss will be minimal compared to others. Uh, I mean, yes, I, I fine. I would give my 10 minute speech and then followed by a Q and a, and, you know, there'd be some laughs and, and and stuff and some inspiration but the speech is still out there i actually i actually left the printed out speech with uh patricia and rick in case you know somebody wanted to do something with it um and then uh, i had a q a panel at the tomorrow but the q a that panel is so huge i would have been lucky if i got two questions and then last but not least the the flatties award which Patricia, you know, come on. She could absolutely solo that thing all day long. She, It would be great if she had a, a wingman up there, which I am in her case, you know, because she's built for those things. Uh, so if anybody wants to put on a, uh, a really cool suit and go up there and, and stand with her and just read envelopes, that'd be really awesome. I don't know who brought a really cool suit uh, or has a good voice to read things, but I don't know if anyone knows anybody. Awesome. Zulu! Get the pajamas on. Hey, you know what? Zulu is a good choice. Mm. He's an awesome choice. He would be a good choice. Somebody the one pajamas. And because and I and in anticipating this, I left the blue electric glasses. Huh. As well. And you know he's got to talk oh. to the flatties. I know. That's and the glasses are brand new. The glasses are brand new. Haven't even been worn. Huh. And, they have, and they have extra batteries. Oh so, my goodness. No, I, like and I thought I thought of her when when I did this. It's like, look, I'm not. I'm yes, I'm leaving a little bit in the lurch, but I did it early enough to where schedules can be rearranged and it'll be fine. Uh, but again, principle means a lot to me, and um, uh, this guy needs to be chopped up in a little itty bitty pieces and buried alive. Whoa! So, there you go. Cool. I'm gonna say this: <laughs> as much as Mark, you have done wonderful things for the flat Earth community and everything. Mm. There were a lot of great people at the conference this morning. I watched all the Rob Skiba stuff. Yeah. You know, you know, Mark does great stuff, but he is not the conference. I hope nobody came for one person. I hope they came to hear. Oh, exactly. 
Exactly. Okay. And, and and remember, even in, yeah. in fact, even in, in the speech that I wrote, uh, I was really clear. You know, I kind of covered uh, if you want to read it, by the way, uh, anyone that's out there, it's in Patricia's room. It's, it's, it's actually pretty good um, where I talk about the Flat Earth University and I focus on it. I go, look, I am the freshman recruiter. All the great instructors are behind me. Uh, I'm just the guy that gets you in the door. So, you know, don't don't put too much weight. You know, most of the most of the people that are at the conference, come on, they're all veterans. I mean, I, I've met some you know some people now that I've seen at like four and five meetups already. And not to mention Carrie, who's all over the place. Oh, Carrie's probably mm-hmm. sad wherever she is. But I ran into her already a whole bunch of times. Well, from what I watched today, I mean, Rob's stuff was good. Yeah. I thought Karen's presentation, I actually paid attention. Well, because I was yes. watching. I was I listening learned some good stuff from her. I did. Uh, there was some good. stuff that you did. I wasn't so distracted with beta tapes. But, um, you know, and D Marvel had some great st- There is great stuff going on in the conference. So anybody, I'm going to say, anybody who's sad that Mark's not there, don't be. There's a lot of good stuff going on. Yeah. And, heck, he probably would have wore shorts up on stage. No. By the way, where can we watch that documentary besides iTunes? Dag Nebit, did you find out? Well, I mean, whatever it says, I know, I know, I know. Uh, the The website, I don't know if it's been completely updated. So, uh, but it, yeah, I know it's what was it? Google Play, and then what's the other one? Amazon Direct Video. Amazon Direct Video. And iTunes. And iTunes. And iTunes. I, I look. It was today's the first day, so it'll, I'm sure it'll be. They'll they'll knock out the kinks or whatever, but I'm not I'm not too worried. I mean, it'll, it'll be out when it's out, and hopefully there'll yeah. be more documentaries. And uh, well, I haven't seen it yet. I know all you all have, but I haven't. <laughs> oh right. Well, has no, no. Shauna hasn't seen it. Yeah, right. I have not seen it. No. no. I am trying oh, I to get it worked you, out to where we can actually premiere ball. it. Oh right. I, I didn't remote. use my crystal ball. <laughs> Shauna, <laughs> Shauna. <laughs> You didn't remote view that. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, right. Remote view that. Didn't you know yeah. I was on your shoulder? <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, any no, any other any other things the chat can come up with that I haven't uh, well, looking through, see if you've addressed everything. I think mostly everybody's and, disappointed and people, that they're not gonna see that, you. That's fine. I, you know, I, but at the same time, what would you do if all of a sudden you were put face to face with somebody? Hey, kind you kinda it's kinda like um, you know, put your money where your mouth is type of thing I, I i hate getting to those moments where it's usually for guys it's like man if i ever see him i'm gonna punch him square in the jaw and then all of a sudden like two weeks later you're like right there and you're like going oh and you don't do it right yeah right right i believe I'm the that. guy i'm the guy that be like and and then the, i'm the guy that hits the guy and it's like what the hell did you hit me for it's well i said i was gonna i've been waiting two weeks to punch you in the exactly. face here, you know? Exactly. In this case, it was like a year later. It's like, really? I mean, that's the universe doing weird things. Really? You're going to put this guy right there, literally in the front row in front of me? Really? This guy? I thought he was like hiding. Nope. Apparently he's not. I Did he actually ever even come here or no? Who? This guy, Logan. Logan? Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. been all yeah, over he's the. Here. Long yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm just asking. I'm just. At, I didn't. I didn't run into him. I just, like I said, I saw him well, at, just at the restaurant when we came it. through, and I was just I, curious. I've heard the 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 posts that people are, you know, saying that. Oh yeah, he's he's tough to pin down, which he would be kind of used to anyway, because most of the time he's running from preteen girls, and maybe some preteen boys. I don't know. I'm not mm. judging. <laughs> so. Anyway, but no, no worries, guys. You know, I'll, you know, and if, if people don't, you know, if people, people turn on me. I mean, I'm looking through my emails. It looks pretty, pretty good right now. Uh, I, I will, I will say this. Just so don't read them. The what? I, I said, just don't read them. Sorry. <laughs> well, you remember, email. remember but, which, we, which we won't read, or which I won't say on air, talk about Providence that as I'm, as this thing is getting queued up, who emails me, but but an A-list celebrity because they were yes. curious. It's like, hey, who is yes. it? Like this uh, they want to know what's going on. Yeah, they were like, like you calling... mean, the you one mean. you contacted when we heard about it, trying to figure out who it could be. If they exactly, I know. actually know A-list yeah. celebrities that I could. Yeah, you know, so yeah, they were like calling other A-list celebrities, saying, "Is it you? Is it you?" 
<laughs> it's like, no, it's not us. Who is it? That's crazy. And now, oh, now no, I'm, I actually have to, now I have to tell them. I have to. Here's here's how bad it is. I have to explain to them. This will give you an idea if you're listening, Robbie. I have to explain to these A-listers who this person is. <laughs> I have to say, okay, you don't know this person, but here's what they've done. You don't know this person. You won't. I guarantee they won't know who. No, they probably wouldn't. Well, I mean, I don't know, but they probably wouldn't know a YouTuber guy. You know, no, unless they have know. you, you know, young kids, teenage kids. No, that that one will not know. No, I I know no. Who you're talking about Mark, and no, he will not know. Nope. No. Nope. So nope. again, that shows you. It's like I, and yet I'm having I'm having them called DiCaprio's camp. It's like, oh my god! <laughs> what a freaking waste of time that was. Oh I just, man! Yeah, I just call back. Nope, it's not us. It's like what? It's like who uh, could it be? It's like, oh yeah, it's this chumpalope. Yeah, that's uh, gonna be a joke around uh, whatever they do over there. <laughs> that's gonna be a running joke around. Oh yeah, it's oh yeah, it's uh, such and such. Well, it could be worse. It could be this guy. It could be Logan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good day. Good right. day. Anything else I can do for you guys? Uh, I'll expect no. my refund check. Uh, no. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, no, I think you. Uh, I think you addressed the questions people eh. wanted to know. I, again, I, I, I'm willing to take the flack on this, but I'd rather be. There's an old saying: is uh, um, don't regret what you've done, regret what you haven't done. And it would, for me, it would, have, it would have been the slightly easier path to to get up there and and just deal with this guy, and 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 you know eat the the rage that I had for him. And it's like, why? I mean, he's a he's a bad guy. Sorry. No, <laughs> no are probably, kids are probably looking at him. Going, he's not so bad. I'm going. No, he's a bad guy. Hey, hey, have, you know have what? kids ever watched that video and saw what he was doing? I mean, right. Everybody's got their opinion on everybody, and yeah. that's okay. Right. You know, my son likes that that godforsaken PewDiePie guy. Okay, mm. and that's okay. I don't. He does. I got you. Whatever. But again. Okay. Oh, let me let oh, me end, oh, let me let me end on this end on this because I I should reiterate what what you just said, uh, but a different version of it, which is look, PewDiePie makes troll videos against us, right? But it generates interest, and it's good because he has sixty million followers, right? But that's because the, he's he's at a distance. He's making those videos online. We wouldn't be dumb enough to ask him to come to the conference because. <laughs> Lord knows he could wreak some havoc in here, you know. He, he, he could, you know, he just start turning it into a big meme factory, you know, just running around and taking snapshots and stupid Swedish humor and do all the stuff he does. And that's that's sort of along the same lines, which is, you know, yeah, of course the 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 hits are good, but you don't want them too close because then the, the you know they're too close to the troops, too close to the firing lines. And the troops get way more agitated than they should. Um, no, Logan hasn't done anything stupid yet, but you know, it's still early. And for the record, yeah. he might not. He might not. He that's might not, not the point. So uh, we'll see. you'll well, find out tomorrow morning if. Uh, yeah. I I'm just dying to know what he what what he wants to say. Uh, is he going to break into a rap? I don't know. Interesting. Oh, I hate rap. Interesting. The guy, the guy that was on this morning. Sorry, side note. Moss mm -hmm. was awesome. He was a rapper. He was really good. Oh, was he good? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was. He was. He was real good. Cool. Sorry, side note. Just had to throw that out there. No, that's right. Well, oh man. Appreciate you letting us know what's going on, Mark. Hey, you know, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to worry people. It's not like I had some sort of uh, seizure and and anything like that. It was just that. Uh, I had uh, I had some illusions just not only shattered but <laughs> but transformed right. Right. into something that was like <laughs> oh seriously it's like you're you're honestly it's kind of like you're waiting for an for an angel any kind of angel any quality level of angel and then it's some little demon it's like what <laughs> yeah you're killing me. <laughs> 
But I, but I, oh my god! Little booties and wings. Okay. Anyway, guys. So, uh, and you called everyone you needed to call and talk to. Uh, to pretty much. I haven't called. Uh, who says call me? Rick. Rick. I think it's Rick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll call. I'll call Rick next. Yeah, I'll call okay. him. Okay. Yeah, everybody's asking. I mean, I think from the just not not the staffers, but the people. Everybody right. just wanted to know what was up. Is he okay? Gotcha. Is it something? Yep. You know? Yep. 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 And, no. Nope. It's uh, no. It was, it was again. It's it, yeah. No, I'm fine. I'm tired, but I'll uh, I'll I'll survive. And I'm again. I'm sorry to everybody that uh, that I didn't get to meet and that, that wanted me to to do something with them. Uh, but I'll make it up to you. I promise. One day we'll, we'll all take a whole bunch of selfies, and it'll be it'll be wonderful and beautiful. Well, you're gonna have to buy a lot of steak dinners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe or vegan dinners again. All God's children. All right, all right. Yeah. Some vegan dinners too. <laughs> all right. Ah, too funny. All righty. So you're good. You uh, got off your chat. So, you're done. Yeah. Okay. So we can end the chat. Thanks everybody who's listening and then everybody who's going to listen to make their own minds up and do what you want to do. Yes. Yes. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you got some information. I'll uh, be stumbling down to the uh, bar shortly. <laughs> yeah. uh, All right, man. Funny. All righty. Bye everyone out there. Have a good night. All right. See you guys. Later.